video demonstration of the analog input calibration of a pulse feeder ECA model 4X. With the cover removed and power supplied to the ECA and the motor running, you will attach a analog input calibration device to terminals 1 and 2 with number 1 being positive and number 2 being negative. We're going to zoom in on the uh, analog simulator now and you can see that the analog simulator is set to 4 milliamps so we're ready to do the zero calibration. At this time we're going to push the white cal button and if you notice the cal input LED will blink slowly. That's indicating that the ECA is ready to accept the low stroke analog input value. At this point we can now press the white button again to accept that value and now the LED will blink rapidly. At this point we're ready to do the 100% value so let's set the analog simulator to 20 milliamps. And now press the white button again. And you can see that the uh, stroke indicator on the ECA is now rotating. It will rotate approximately 22 revolutions to get to the 100% value. When it gets to the 100% value, the rotation will stop, and that will conclude the analog input calibration. We're still waiting for it to get to the 20 milliamp position. Okay, and you can see that the stroke indicator has stopped rotating. So now I just want to change the analog input signal to demonstrate that there is a change. So I'm going to reduce it from 20 to say uh, 12 milliamps to a 50% value. And you can see that the ECA stroke indicator takes off and begins rotating again. Uh, if we were to count it, I guess you would see about 11 turns. So that concludes this uh, analog input calibration demonstration. Thank you.